and today I'll be showing you how to make neck bones in the crock pot. So what you're going to need for this particular ingredients is some neck bones, of course. I'm using a small onion, some of my Caribbean tradition, but this is the all-purpose seasoning. Pepper, a chicken flavored bouillon cube, some salt, some onion powder also, even though I'm using the onion. So what I'm about to do now is soak my neck bones for maybe an hour in some water and salt because I like to soak my pork and beef to try to draw some of the blood out because I don't like having a bloody taste. And then once I soak it, I'm going to come back and show myself seasoning it and getting it ready for the pot. What I'm doing now is soaking my meat and I'm putting a little salt in here just to draw some of the blood and I'm going to let it soak for a little bit. I'm going to have to break this one down. But I'm just letting you see me soak it with a little salt. And I'm going to let this soak for maybe um, about an hour just to draw as much of the blood out of it. Because I don't like when meat have a bloody taste. So then I'm going to come back after an hour and season it and we can go from there. Hey guys, it's been an hour now and I'm back getting ready to season the neck bones. Now, um, with my seasoning, because since it's just a little bit left on all of these, so when I retouch them and reuse them, it's not like I'm being nasty or anything, but it ain't but a little bit left in them. So I'm going to um, start off seasoning. I'm going to lightly season with my all-purpose seasoning. And this all-purpose seasoning by um, Caribbean tradition is really good. I've tried it on chicken and stuff, and I just love this stuff. I really, really love it. But I'm going to start off with a light little seasoning of it. And try to get off in here real good. I'm going to have to come back because I forgot to cut my onion. But I'm going to cut up that onion once I season this. And that's pretty good. And then even though I'm using onion powder, I'm just going to sprinkle some all in here. Get off in there with it. Then I'm using some pepper. And I want to get everything pretty much coated. Because if this is not seasoned good, it won't taste good. That's the most important thing. And then let me get some salt. Go around off in here with it. And I had too many neck bones. So over here in my other sink, I'm having to use a smaller crock pot, which I'll go back and season that once I stop. And then I'm going to stick the little chicken flavored cubes in here. And once I end this filming, I'm going to go cut the onion up because I forgot to cut it up and put the onion. And I'm just going to put two little cubes in here. So once I chop the onion up, I'm going to fill this up with water. Not all the way up, just halfway because I don't want it overflowing. And then I'm going to let it cook for about four hours. And then in about two and a half hours, we'll come back and take a look at it. So I'll Okay, be guys, this has been about two hours now. And they still need another two hours to go, but they looking pretty good. I'm letting I'm gonna let all this water and stuff cook down. But they looking good and I'm rotating them around. So this has just only been two hours. I got about two more hours to go because I want them real tender and off the bone. So they're not right how I would like them to be. So we'll come back in two hours and they will be ready and I will show you the ending project. Hey okay, guys, here's my finished product, my nice Pot pot neck bones and they show are tender. Thanks for watching. Show.